Things are getting back to normal after a neo-Nazi rally and counter-protests in Noonan. More than 700 law enforcement officials were on the ground to keep the peace. Two business owners took me through the steps that they took ahead of the rally. Yeah, we're very blessed. I feel like we dodged a bullet with all that. Ted Casey reopened the doors of Wildwood Trader Monday just off the Noonan Square. As a precaution, the business was closed Saturday for the neo-Nazi rally that was held at Greenville Street Park. There's been fatalities in the past when these two groups have clashed and, and uh, lots of damage. Saturday, the National Socialist Movement gathered at the park, and just beyond the park were hundreds of counter-protesters and more than 700 Noonan police, Coweta Sheriff's Office, and GBI officers assembled to maintain the peace. You know, it's a pain being closed on a Saturday. That's one of our biggest days. On Sundays, crews came around removing barriers and even bringing back the trash cans that were taken away for Saturday's rally, a sign to merchants that it would be business as usual on Monday. I don't really want to go through that again. Jesse Yates owns Vinylite Records. He opened Saturday for a planned event, but closed in the afternoon. You can't replace us. <laughs> Our families need us. Blue, noon and strong ribbons and chalk art from a Friday night event to show support to local businesses is what remains from a weekend where this community was determined to show unity and financial support to those who were compelled to close. We were very blessed. It, it made up even a little bit better than normal for a Saturday. There were 10 arrests that day. Noonan's mayor told me over the phone today that she was pleased how everything turned out, specifically that there were no injuries.